For a lot of us who grew up in rural America, harvest time is a time to go back to the family operation and lend a hand at the busiest time of the year. Recently, Chad Colby had a chance to visit a family farm in Illinois and visit with the CEO of one of the world's largest input suppliers who was also home to help for harvest. They're energizing, therapeutic. Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but I can tell you I enjoy it. Syngenta CEO Jeff Rowe leads the company from Switzerland. But he makes sure he comes back to the family farm in Princeton, Illinois, every year at harvest. This is home. Yeah, this is uh, this is where I where I grew up. Uh, my my original the original row farm is uh, down by Henry, Illinois, and um, that farm uh, started row started farming that in uh, about 1830. So we've been in Illinois for a very long time. Um, I'd be a fifth generation farmer here and. Uh, my son, who's on the farm, he's running the cart today, he'd be a sixth generation farmer. Jeff says the innovation he has seen in agriculture in his lifetime is incredible. You know, we're talking about innovation for machinery, genetics, chemistry, biologicals, you know, the drone, digital space. Uh, what I tell young people that are interested in agriculture, it's such a broad area, you can't even imagine the, the amount of innovation that's coming this way. We can now show in the field like the impact of fungicides, for example. You know, you, you could go across the field, you could see it on the yield monitor you talked about, it. you could see it in the aerial uh, pictures that you take with drones, that you could see that that product is creating real value for the farmer. And I think our ability to make those decisions easier, simpler, more straightforward is part of our job and others in the, in the industry. Jeff has had the opportunity in his career to interact with farmers all over the world. While there may be some cultural differences, he says at the core, they're very similar. When I talk to a farmer in India that's maybe a smallholder farmer, it's not so different than talking to a farmer in Champaign, Illinois. They're thinking about the same thing. They're worried about the land, they're worried about the, the yield, they're thinking about the next generation. So from that standpoint, I think we're kind of all starting from the same spot. I think what is really exciting about digital and the data connection is, is that we have the ability now as a company to interact with hundreds of millions of farmers because of our ability to use tools. Um, almost every farmer in the world um, has, no matter what their economic situation is, has a phone of some sort or access to information. So we could get very complicated messages to them, we could get very simple messages to them. And, and that's different. It used to be the only way that you could get to that many farmers is you had to have boots on the ground. You had to have an army of, of salespeople and agronomists out interacting with farmers. Now we can do it through a digital connection. And it's not just a, hey, how are you doing? Is it harvest time? It's, hey, we think that there's a reason for you to go out and, and apply an insecticide. Or we think there's a reason for you to go out and apply a fungicide. Or it's time to plant. These are, these are real decisions that are important to farmers. The digital connection allows us to scale it at a much broader level. Thank you, Chad, for that conversation with Jeff Rowe, CEO of Syngenta. You can hear Jeff's passion about the future of agriculture. And Max Armstrong joins us next, talking with a group of people who are passionate about